Former Governor Andrew Cuomo's reemergence on the political scene is stoking a new effort to take his father, Mario's name, off the bridge that replaced the Tappan Zee. Some lawmakers feel Andrew Cuomo bullied them to do his bidding, which is why they feel the name needs to be removed. CBS 2's Marsha Kramer spoke to people on all sides of the issue today. She joins us now. Marsha? Well, Jana, ever since he emerged from his cocoon of shame, Andrew Cuomo has tried to convince people that he was done in by the so-called cancel culture. And while that might work with some audiences, the lawmakers who were on the receiving end of his strong-arm tactics recall all too well how the Machiavellian strategist really got his name on the bridge. It wasn't pretty. The ex-governor managed to sneak in the changing of the name of the bridge uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning as a, a ransom uh, for the final piece of budget legislation. Assemblyman Thomas Abenanti has one of two bills in Albany to change the name of the $4 billion twin bridges that connect Rockland and Westchester counties. He's actually seeking a compromise, but he says more and more lawmakers are zeroing in on the need to change the name because of the Andrew Cuomo scandals, his recent re-entry onto the political scene, because of the way he rammed the name down their throats. So is that two o'clock ransom attempt by Andrew Cuomo still sticking in the craw of people who remember it? Oh, I believe it is. The best example of Andrew Cuomo's bullying. The Abenanti bill would change the name of the bridge to the Mario Cuomo Tappan Zee Bridge. He says it's a compromise. Another bill by Republican Assemblyman Mike Lawler that is picking up some bipartisan support would cancel Cuomo altogether and call it the Tappan Zee Bridge. Frankly, the time for compromise uh, on this has passed uh, with respect to uh, adding the Tappan Zee name back. The governor didn't want that at the time. He wanted the Cuomo family name. He, through his own actions, not mine, not anybody else's, through his own actions, has disgraced that name and it needs to come off the bridge. Former Westchester County Executive and Republican gubernatorial candidate Rob Astorino says that if he wins, he'll make sure the name is changed. No Cuomo on that bridge. I will myself unscrew the C-U-O-M-O -O the first day and drop those letters into the Hudson River and it'll go back to Tappan Zee Bridge. Team Cuomo was not amused. The governor's spokesman saying, quote, with all the critically important issues facing New Yorkers, it's craven stunts like this that separate the headline-chasing politicians from the public servants who are actually focused on making a difference. And nearly four years after Cuomo officially christened the bridge by driving across the span with his mother Matilda in FDR's 1932 Packard, there is still intense anger. And because of Andrew Cuomo's scandals, they don't don't want to see his name on the bridge at all. I would like his name removed, absolutely. I'm comfortable keeping the name on the bridge. Mario Cuomo was a good governor, and I, I see no reason to retract it just because of certain indignities of his son. Every time I pass and get on and I see the name, it bothers me. Bring it back to Tappan Zee. Personally, I mean, I think it's ultimately the arrogance of, you know, the Cuomo family that uh, changed it. for Mario Cuomo, something in Queens where he was born and raised. But they will not change the name on some of the projects Andrew Cuomo embarked on, like fixing the airports, are also in Queens. Dana. Marsha, thank you.